avoir parmi nous quelques-uns des principaux artisans qui ont contribué à faire de la, de la rivalité Montréal-Chicago l'une des plus intenses dans l'histoire de la Ligue nationale de hockey. Countless players have contributed to the Montreal-Chicago rivalry over the years, and we're privileged to have some of the biggest names from that history here with us tonight. This two-time All-Star helped lead Chicago to a playoff upset of the Canadians and an eventual Stanley Cup championship in 1961. Number 15, Eric Nastarenko. Personnage coloré s'il en est un, il n'avait pas peur de mettre son nez au cœur de l'action. Les trois coupes cette année qu'il a remportées avec les Canadiens, deux l'ont été au départ des Blackhawks. Le numéro 18, Eric Nestorenko, en Blackhawk uniforme. The only player in NHL history to score 40 goals in total 300 penalty minutes in a season. This hard-nosed winger had his fair share of battles with the Canadians throughout the 1980s. Number 20, Al Secord. Got a chance to play with Al, Danny. Not only is a black up, but we got traded from the Hawks to the Toronto Maple Leafs in September of 1987. One of the toughest two-way players ever to play in a game, Al Secord. There's Dougie Wilson's brother, Murray Wilson. Does the radio for Canadians radio here in Montreal? There's Grandpa. <laughs> One of the most underrated players ever to play in the National Hockey League, Steve Larmer. And again, you played with him in Chicago and New York. Yeah. Two in uh, '94 with the Rangers winning a cup. Meilleur pointeur du tricolore lors de la conquête en 93 avec 23 points. Il a porté le titre. Vinny Dampus looks the same. Le numéro 25, Vincent Dampus. And the next one will be special. Connaissant six saisons de plus de 100 points, dont 131 en 1987-88. C'est toutefois à Montréal qu'il a connu l'ultime succès en remportant la Coupe Stanley en 1993, le numéro 18, Denis Savard. He was smiling all day today, that's for sure. What a line that is, Secord, Salarmer, to Savard. Peu de joueurs pouvaient rivaliser avec sa vitesse. Vainqueur de Tico Stanley, il était le capitaine des Canadiens lors des quatre conquêtes consécutives à la fin des années 70. Le numéro 12, Yvan Cournoyer. Scored the game winning goal against the Hawks in the 71 Cup Final. Originally drafted by the Canadians, right, yeah. he recorded 15 shutouts in 1969-70 to win both the Vezina and Calder trophies. And over his 15 years in Chicago, he effectively still hear the chance the in the old stadium. stadium for goaltenders. Number 35, Tony Posito. He dominated the 1970 How about these two goals? First, the Cosmo. <laughs> now you got the Cornell grad. Before winning five Vezina trophies, six Stanley Cups, and posting 46 shutouts and a 2.24 goal against Kenny Cambridge. Dryden, about six, just four. over seven complete seasons. Number 29, That's Ken. He was oh, kind of like the goalies nowadays. Yep. He was well before his prime, as far as the size and playing that position. He was the definition of a stand-up goalie, though, wasn't he? He was among the first players to use a curved stick, but he's better known as the only player to win the Hart Rod, Hart and Lady Bank trophies in the season. Dan wasn't sure about the reception he was going to have. That nice, the run-ins he had, especially the one with Todd LaRose back in the old forum. From 1959 to 1980, number 21, Stan Makita.
course, back with the Blackhawk family as one of the ambassadors hired by John McDonough. Look at Stashu. <laughs> really the founder of the Blackhawk Alumni Association. The leader, along with Keith Magnuson now in the hands of Chris Coral, Reggie Kerr, Peter Mars do a tremendous job. Great to see Stan around. Number 10, the flower. La The Golden Jet will be next. Standing ovation for Guy Lafleur. A three-time winner of the Hot Rock Trophy and two-time winner of the Hot Trophy, he loved the Blackhawks and goals scored for 10 consecutive seasons and enjoyed 550 goal seasons in all. Famous for his slap shot and nickname, the Golden Jet, number nine, Bobby Hall. Another one of the newly named ambassadors, along with Stan Makita by John McDonough. The leading goal scorer in Blackhawk history, 604 career goals. Henri Richard <laughs> set up that famous goal versus the Hawks in 1971. Made a pass, he just threw the puck to Bobby there. We would invite Blackhawks assistant captain Martin Lapointe and Canadians captain Sacco Coivu to join Bobby Hall and Henri Richard for tonight's ceremonial puck job. What a special night, Danny. Privilege to be a part of it, that's for sure.